Hello YouTube. Um, I've been feeling a little bit down today, and it's a little bit dark in here. I'm sorry, I don't have an overhead light in my room yet. I don't have a light anywhere other than the one in my hallway to my bathroom, and the one in my bathroom specifically. So maybe I should go film this in my bathroom, actually. So let me go ahead and pull up my laptop, and... Ugh. Give me one second. There we go. It's a little bit lighter, right? So, YouTube. Um, this actually works out. I need some free space off to this side. Um, so, YouTube. But it hurts my knees. But, for the sake of you guys, I will, I will do it. I will get, I will get all my knees for you guys. Um, God, I'm cheering up already. Um, so, I've been feeling a little bit down today, and I feel like this is a little bit loud, so let me go and turn that down a little bit. I turned it up because the car's outside, but, um, I've been feeling a little bit down today. Um, for one specific reason, um, not Pacific, specific, yes, I'm, I'm an English major, so I know the difference between Pacific and Specific, and I hate when people make that mistake. Actually, I can sit on the toilet. Here, there we go. So, I'm gonna be able to see my lovely shower. Um, so a specific event happened today. Um, someone hit me up on Grinder, And, um, We were having a nice chat, and, you know, we were kind of hitting it off, and then he asked me, you know, do you have sex? And I was like, yeah, of course I do, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a human being, you know, I, I like to have sex, like any other normal human being, you know, because... What human being doesn't like having sex other than asexual? I'm and I'm not asexual. I am my mother's son, and my mother, my God, I had to live in the room next to her for many years, and my God, the noises that were made in that room, Jesus fucking Christ, or Nova fucking universe, as I said on Facebook today when I found a um, an article about narcissists, and I, it basically described my ex, and it was just like, oh my god, that is my fucking ex. Um, why did this not come out, like, two and a half years ago, so I could have left him then? Anyways. Um, yeah, I know, but I need to stop saying that. Um, uh, so, this individual, um, you know, we were talking, and, he, you know, he said, you know, do you like having sex? And I said, yeah, of course I do. Um, and it's not the song that I wanted to play next. Um, why is Desire not playing? Oh my god. Mm, I'm supposed to play Desire. What in the hell? Let me go ahead and get to play Desire. Oh, because Desire's not available, apparently. That's just great. Okay. Anyways. Mm, so... <laughs> We were talking, and, you know, he basically said, you know, you're, I'm not going to take that risk with you. And I said, what do you mean? He said, you know, there's condoms, there's PrEP, you know, if you're on PrEP, you should be safe, and, you know, I would use a condom, you know, um, there's... There's really no risk if, you know, we're safe. And he basically said, I'm not, he repeated, you know, I'm not going to take that risk, and neither should you. He basically insinuated that, um, no person with HIV should be having sex. That we're not human. And that's the miseducation that we're fighting against these days. Um... And I got angry. 
I got angry and I messaged him back and I said, you know, I'm a fucking human being that likes to have sex. So get educated, you fucking little cunt. And I know that I flew off the handle and that's that's my anger management issue right there that I that I'm still working on. Um, but it it angered me. And you know, thinking back on it now, you know, now I'm depressed about it because, you know, who was he to say that I'm not supposed to have sex? Who was he to say that I'm I'm less of a human being than he is? Hell, I'm more of a human being than he is because I've gone through so much in my lifetime. I'm sure that he has gone through probably one one hundredth of what I've gone through. And it just, it pissed me off. So, you know, there are a lot of articles that I've read, you know, things not to say when you're dating or you know, sleeping with somebody who's HIV positive, and I'm going to link a few of those in the description below. Um, I highly recommend that you read them, um, because... If you do end up dating somebody who's HIV positive, it's it's best to know what not to say. Because if you say one of those things, you say something that might, and I hate to say this word because it gets used a lot in the gaming world and I'm a huge video gamer, but if you use, if you say something that might trigger them, it might piss them off, um, it would be a bad thing. And I don't want that to happen to anybody. So, um, yeah. It's, it's just one of those things that, you know, I... I'm feeling a little lost right now. Because, again, I just... And my friend Robert's sitting here texting me right now, and I'm getting it on my watch, and he's, you know, he's worried about me because I sent him a message, and I told him about the incident, and he's sitting here saying, are you going to be okay? And of course I'm going to be okay, it's not like I'm going to try and kill myself over this, but, you know, it's, it, it upset me a lot. It was really upsetting for somebody to sit there and insinuate that I'm less of a human being. And, um... I just, it's times like these that I wish that I had somebody to hold right now, but I know that I have to be strong in this instance, and yeah. In another note, I have a Crunchwrap Supreme that's waiting for me, so I am going to go ahead and uh, let this song finish out because this is one of my favorite songs by ETB, um, called Collides with Beauty. And it's true that pride collides with beauty, and I feel like the person that I was speaking to today had a lot of pride. Um, and my beauty collided with his pride, because I am beautiful, right? I'm a beautiful person, and he couldn't take that. He couldn't take my beauty. His, his pride couldn't take my beauty. So, I will uh, post another video in a couple days, probably about time, and probably tomorrow, about time, and how to sign it. Um, you guys have a great night.